Hey guys, it's Skylar. Today is gonna be a tutorial on how to achieve this Valentine's Day look. It's just gonna consist of a matte smoky eye using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette, as well as some dewy skin. If you guys wanna see how I achieve this look, then just keep watching. Because I want this to be more of a dewy skin look, I'm gonna go in with the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist, and I'm just gonna spray that all over my face. The next thing I'm gonna do is go in with the Fenty Beauty. This is the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. Um, this is what it looks like. If you have large pores like myself, this is a lifesaver. I feel like this smooths everything over and it gives you a fresh, smooth canvas to put your foundation on top of. Um, so I'm just gonna go in, I only take one pump of this and I'm just gonna put it all over my face, mostly focusing on the T zone. My pores are largest around my nose and like right here on my cheeks, so that's where I put most of the product just so um, you can't see them when I have my foundation on. And then I do have a little bit, I get blackheads on my chin, just a little bit, not too bad, but um, enough where it's a problem area for me. So I'm just gonna put some there too. So because I want that really dewy skin look, I'm going to go in with the YSL All Hours Foundation. I'm actually gonna mix this with a another product. Um, I'm in the shade B10. I believe this is like the palest neutral they have. Um, and then the second thing, I'm gonna mix it with the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops. This is in... This is in the shade Celestial, um, looks like this. I'm just gonna put a couple drops in the foundation that I have and then I'm gonna mix it together. Today I'm going in with a damp beauty blender to apply my foundation. I started using these about a couple, I would say a couple months ago, I used to use brushes, but the beauty blender applies your foundation so flawless. It just makes everything look so when I first started using this, I had no idea how to use it. I literally, I would go in with a dry ass beauty blender and it was like slapping my face with a brick because it's so dense. And on top of that, it was just, it didn't look good. My foundation looked so bad. I was like, why does anyone like these? And then I realized, oh, you're supposed to dampen it. So don't recommend doing that. Um, dampen it before you use it. And it applies it a lot more even, I find, when you dampen it, because when you don't, it kind of just soaks up the foundation. I'm just mixing the Cover FX drops with the foundation, and then I'm just gonna start to apply that. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is go in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, and I'm just gonna put this on some of my problem areas that I have. I am breaking out a little bit in my eyebrows. Don't really know why there, but that's all right. We love is it. And then I'm just gonna blend that out. So that's pretty much it for the base. The next thing I'm gonna go in with is the Pretty Vulgar. It's called the Powder Room. Um, it's just translucent powder. You're gonna wanna go in really sparingly with this just because we are going for that dewy look and if you over powder, then it's just gonna make it matte and that kind of defeats the purpose of what we're doing. Um, so I'm just going in with a tiny, tiny bit and I'm only going in my T-zone, so my forehead my nose, and then a little bit on my chin. Um, for me though, I'm really only worried about my nose because that's where I build up the most oil. And I am also going a little bit underneath my eyes too, just to prevent that from creasing. So I'm just gonna warm up the face a little bit with the Too Faced, I think it's pronounced chocolate, is it Solil, Solil? I don't really know how you pronounce it, but I'm in, um, this is the shade Medium. I believe there's three different kinds of this. I ended up getting the middle shade just because I felt like the lightest one was gonna be, I don't know, I just wanted something a little bit deeper. I'm applying that with a Morphe M438 brush. Um, it's just kind of like a small dome brush. It just fits really nicely in the contours of my cheek. So I just apply bronzer there with this brush. And then I go in with a bigger brush for my forehead. And you really wanna make sure that you blend towards the hairline and up. And then like I said, I go in with a bigger brush for my forehead and I'm going in with the Morphe E4 brush. It's just an angled, I guess you could call it a fluffy brush. And I really only focus on like the sides of my forehead and then also 
right at the top here just so it kind of makes everything blend together. So for blush today, I am going with the Morphe Warm Master 8W palette, and I don't want to go too harsh with the blush, so I'm only going in with this light pink shade over here, um, and I'm just gonna apply that relatively lightly to the cheeks. I'm also gonna take some and put it right on the tip of my nose. That's optional, you don't have to do that. I just like how it looks. So the next thing I'm gonna do is my eyebrows. I'm actually gonna do that off camera. Um, if you want an in-depth tutorial on how to apply eyebrows when you have none, uh, let me know in the comments below and I can certainly do that for you. Um, but I am gonna do mine off camera. But the products I am using to apply my eyebrows, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. I'm using the shade Medium Brown um, and I'm just going in with a Morphe brush. I believe I got this. I got this in, I think it was the 702 set, which they don't have the brushes labeled in that set, um, but it's just an angled brush with a spoolie on the other end. You can use anything you're comfortable with. You don't even have to fill in your eyebrows. It's up to you. Um, and then after I fill in my eyebrows, I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Tinted Brow Gel, and this is in the shade Chocolate. I believe it's a little bit lighter than my hair, but I like that it, it makes the eyebrow hairs stand out a little bit, so it doesn't look like you've just drawn on with Sharpie marker. All right, so my eyebrows are done. If you can hear background noise, I'm sorry. My family just came home and my brother has a new puppy, so I can hear him running upstairs. I don't know if you guys can. But the next thing I'm gonna go in with is, um, I'm actually gonna use eyeshadow primer for this just so it stays all night, especially if you're going out. Uh, I'm using the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion. Um, and I'm just gonna go in, only using a little bit on each lid because a little bit goes a long way. and I'm just gonna blend that out with my finger. Before I go in with eyeshadow, I actually like to curl my eyelashes first because I feel like whenever I do it after I put on eyeshadow, I feel like it always rubs it away and then I'm left with like this weird line right above my lashes. Maybe it's just me being paranoid, but I'm gonna curl them beforehand. I'm going in with a black pencil liner. I don't know what brand this is. I've used it so much that it's rubbed off and I can't remember any black eyeliner will do. And I'm just gonna put it in my upper lash line so that way when we put on fake eyelashes eventually it'll blend together nicer and I like how it deepens up the eye look a little bit when you add the black. For eyeshadow today I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. Um, I haven't really decided what I'm gonna do yet so we'll see as we go. The very first shade I'm gonna dip into is Tempera. It's just that light pink shade and I'm going in with a this is a Morphe brush again I got it in that 702 set so it's not labeled it's just a round fluffy brush I'm just gonna put this in the crease and blend it up towards my brow bone and I'm not really worried about placement now that I've done that I'm gonna go in with the shade burnt orange I'm going with the same brush I'm not taking this all the way up like we did with that first shade. Um, we just kind of want to keep this right in the crease, but you want to make sure you blend it out well so you have no harsh edges. I want everything to be soft, um, so I'm really taking the time to blend everything out. So once you have that in the crease, I'm going to take more of that burnt orange, but I'm going to focus it on the outer corner of the eye just so when we apply the other shades, it'll have something to blend into. Really focusing just on the outer corner. You don't wanna bring this too far into the lid. I'm gonna take this flat shader brush. I'm going back in with burnt orange. I'm just gonna run this along my lash line. I'm just gonna go in with the shade Love Letter, which is a really pretty pink shade. And I'm gonna pick up quite a bit, but I'm taking this shade and I'm gonna put it in the very outer corner where we put that raw orange shade or that burnt orange shade. So I'm just really packing on the shade on the outer corner. And then what I'm gonna do is go back in with that first brush we were using to put on the burnt orange and the tempera. And I'm going in and I'm just blending out the edges of that pink shade. 
and I'm trying to keep it pretty controlled, um, meaning that I'm really only blending out the edges of the pink. I'm, I'm not taking it further up or anything. I really just want to make sure that that pink is blended into the orange as best as I can. And the pink actually kind of loses some of its pigment when you blend it. So I'm going to go in with more of it. And I'm just going to continue to pack it on and blend out the edges until I feel like it's pigmented enough. And I'm also going to go back in with that flat shader brush. And I'm going to go in with Love Letter. And I'm going to run it along the lower lash line like we did with Burnt Orange. And I'm just going to blend it up into the pink that we already have. I'm gonna go in with this other pinky shade right here. Um, and I'm gonna use that to blend in Love Letter towards the inner corner. You really only wanna take this shade to like the very center of your lid. And this is just so when we put on a lighter color in the inner corner, we'll this Love Letter shade will blend in a lot nicer. And then using the same brush, I'm just gonna blend that color that we just put down into that Love Letter shade. Next shade we're gonna go into is, I believe it's pronounced Buon Fresco. Um, it's this shade right in the middle. I'm going in with that and that's, we're gonna put this all in the inner corner. We're just gonna put this on the inner portion of our eyelids. And then eventually when you get the color packed on, we're gonna blend the two shades together. Now that I have my color set down, I'm gonna use the same brush and I'm just gonna blend these two shades together so there's no harsh line. Going in with the smaller Morphe brush we were using to pack on the darker pink shades and I'm going back in with Love Letter and I'm putting that back on the outer portion of my eyelid. I just really want to deepen up that corner. And then I'm just going in with this fluffy brush again, and we're just gonna blend out the edges of that pink. I'm just going in with the small brush that I have here, and I'm going in with the shade Vermeer, which is that pretty highlight shade. Um, and I'm just taking that and I'm putting it on the inner corner of my eye. All right, so that's it for the eyeshadow. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some mascara and false lashes. So the last thing I'm gonna do today is go in with highlight. I'm going in with the Cover FX Glitter Drops. This is in the color Nova. I got this in a boxy charm. I don't remember what month it was for, but I'm going in with a very little amount and I'm just gonna put that on my cheeks just a little bit and then I'm gonna blend it out with my fingers. So that's it for today's video on how to achieve this Valentine's Day makeup. Um, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Um, I'm gonna try and post videos every Tuesday and Friday if I can. It's kind of hectic with school and work, um, but I'm gonna try my best to get videos out then. Nasty. You nasty. I'm gonna keep the lid free of color. That didn't make sense. Excuse me.